Beyonce is an overrated narcissist who is a mediocre singer at best. I also think she's a terrible person because she is still trying to sue a small business owner who named her business Blue Ivy well before Beyonce even had her baby. Why? Because she wants to trademark the name and says the business owner has no right to have her business with the same name as her cultural icon daughter. She also rented out an entire floor of a hospital when she had Blue Ivy, preventing regular people from being able to utilize those hospital beds. The worst part of the hospital fiasco is the area she rented out and covered with security prevented new parents from getting through to the NICU to see their babies. She's just awful. The fact that you can rent out an entire hospital floor to yourself sounds like something that should just be illegal. Not to mention her and every other wannabe fashion mogul uses sweatshop labor overseas to manufacture their shitty clothing line. Every time I tell my GF that Beyonce relies on a team of writers she actively tries to stab me with scissors. I legit get so much crap about this. But I still carry a grudge for Destiny's child PT. Also, she never let Michelle or Kelly be in the middle. Yeah, weird grudge, but for some reason that still irks me to this day. Plus, Kelly's a way better singer, Imo. Thank you. I've never met anyone else that agrees with me before, her fans act like cult members. I don't think she's a bad singer, but she sure as hell doesn't come across as a good person. Thank you. I think the worst of it is when she shamelessly capitalized on the BLM movement at the Super Bowl. Regardless of how you feel about BLM, she sold as ass load of merchandise based on that performance and not a single dime of it went to an organization that fights police brutality or to any victim or their families. Yet being this up, and her cultish loser ass fans will stalk and harass you for daring to disrespect their queen. What a joke. I never understood the hype about her. Is this really true about the hospital thing? If someone would attempt to prevent me from seeing my kid in NICU I would fucking lose it man. Just type in Beyonce on the search bar under this sub. Holy shit, I didn't expect so many people to agree with me. Everyone I've ever expressed my opinion to has acted like I asked them if I could sacrifice their firstborn. I agree she's overrated and I can't understand why she's so popular. Oh, no. She's an absolutely incredible, technically proficient singer, based entirely on the logistics of singing, and I think it's almost silly to deny that. But I don't think I care for her as a person, and I'm not a huge fan of her actual music. I swear this sub doesn't even accept submissions anymore, it just cycles the same two dozen unpopular opinions that are actually apparently widely popular here. Just Google Beyonce unpopular opinion Reddit. See you next week for Reddit isn't bad, you're just on the wrong subs. I agree that she's a narcissist but I don't know how anyone can think she's a mediocre singer. Have an upvote. I can't argue against about most of what you said, but being somewhat in the music industry, she's definitely better than a mediocre singer. Some interesting comments below, but geez, guys. Can we not remark on the appearance of a little girl here? It's a funny, meaningless comment to you, but crap like this is exactly what gives girls complexes and make girls in middle school especially nosedive in their self-esteem. If you were 8, do you think you'd feel good having a bunch of adult strangers dissect how you look and whether that means you have value? This is the spiciest take on Beyonce that I've seen 11,000 other places. Beyonce is one thing. Her fans are another. If anyone else sat through waiting 5 hours to see her at Coachella you'll sympathize. I personally don't care for celebrities like Katy Perry or Justin Bieber, but who the fuck takes over a whole entire area of a hospital? I get not wanting to be crowded with fans all around you, but she could have had bodyguards around her hospital room and not have taken over the entire area, she may be a celebrity but she is also human and there are other people that would have needed that area more than her and ruined the songs in The Lion King by over-singing just about every syllable and ruining the melody. People in this thread keep going back and forth about her vocal range and many are just saying that she's loud or she sings high. Beyonce has shown time and time again that her vocal range is wide.
She's demonstrated her low register many times and she has incredible breathe and vocal control slash stability to the point where she can perform expertly while dancing or even laying down. Say what you want about her but calling her mediocre makes you all sound bitter because she is far from that. I agree that she is extremely overrated and personally am not a fan or her music or the culture. But your claims about trademark are a little misguided and unfair. The trademark system tries to maintain fair use of terms and allows for a similar or same phrase to be used if they are in different contexts. The owner of this particular trademark for Blue Ivy is allowed that trademark for her wedding planning business, but not for use if she stated making cars, this would require another trademark. The owner of the shop actually recently applied for a Blue Ivy trademark for use in general products which was denied because that's too broad or already occupied. While it is stupid that Beyonce wants to trademark the name, she's the one being sued by the wedding planner woman, not the one trying to do any destroying. Whether or not it's reasonable for her to trademark Blue Ivy Carter or not is really independent from this woman, this woman is just worried that people will maybe be confused but that's for the court to decide. Either way there's plenty of other shit to call her on. Yeah we heard this one already, try again. Okay I'm not a Beyonce fan by any stretch of the imagination and I used to think similarly to you. You are entitled to your opinion but I have two inputs. 1. When it comes to the trademark issues, the cultural icon comment is based on prevailing case law and her attorneys wrote it, not her. 100% guarantee you Beyonce did not personally write and file any documents to the court. 2. I once thought Beyonce was a mediocre singer at best and I'm still not a fan of her music in general, just not my style, I'm more into folk or punk, but this video of her singing in her dressing room just standing by her mirror, hand on her hip shows her singing abilities are actually extraordinary and by all professional accounts, she is an extremely talented singer. HTTPS colon slash slash M YouTube com slash watch V equals F1 NYC 7 underscore VZGW. Her range is remarkable and her vocal agility is absolutely no joke. You can dislike her as a person but don't base those judgments off of a document she didn't write and you can dislike her without discounting her objective talents. There is not a universe in which this woman is a mediocre singer at best. Edit to add, also, Beyonce has been consistently famous for straight up 30 years. That's not a fluke and that doesn't just come from being entertaining. She came up in a time when pop and R&B stars were a dime a dozen and entirely disposable. She separated herself by pure work ethic and talent. You don't have to like her, or be her fan to acknowledge or respect what she has worked for. It's the definition of started from the bottom. Also, this is a side note, but anyone who thinks Beyonce would have been allowed to be mediocre at anything, let alone singing has never heard of Miss. Tina Knowles